Well, hi everyone, it's Tiffany with Ready, Set, Crop, coming to you here from the virtual craft room, ready to do a live process video with you. I am recording this on Tuesday, April 18th um, on Facebook Live, and then it will be, um, the replay will be available on my YouTube channel to watch anytime. So thank you so much for joining me if you're here live and if you're watching the replay, happy to have you here and feel free to leave comments, ask questions, that kind of thing. Well, let's get started. Hi Pat, nice to see you here. Um, I have these four photos that my mom and I, um, we went on a day trip last fall up to Guilford, New Hampshire to visit a friend of hers. And I have the new barn and fence border maker cartridge and I've been wanting to use it and I was trying to think of what I could use it for. And then I went through my list of photos that I had to scrap and lo and behold I had taken a picture of the barn the barn is just in the background but I had stopped because they had this beautiful view and they had a, a book with a sign that said stay and take pictures and that kind of thing so um, it goes well with my background and the photos that we have so I'm gonna use the barn and fence border maker system and I'm still working on the tropic time collection I like to kind of use as much of a kit as I can before I move on to something new. And so I'm still working on this Tropic Time. I pulled quite a few cards that I thought would work well for mats for my photos. And I'd like to use this background paper here because to me this kind of reads as sunflowers and mums and um, it's the kind of nice autumn colors that were going on in these photos. So I think that that will work well. So I'm gonna use this background paper and I'm probably gonna use the stickers, but I'll set this aside for now. Hi, Mom, recognize the photos? Scrapping our day trip to visit uh, Linda in Guilford, New Hampshire. Hi, Judy, thanks for joining me. So I have, this as my background paper, and then I also have these three shades of cardstock. So I have this teal that's going to be um, my frame for this paper. And then I have the brown and the red that I'm going to use for the border maker. So let me set those aside so I'm not gonna use those yet. Hi Gail, nice to see you. And I'm gonna set this paper aside and I'm gonna start with my background. And I am going to do my tried and true favorite technique which is gutting the center to make a frame. So I am moving my paper down from 12 inches down to 11 inches. I am starting the cutting guide down an inch and I'm trimming and stopping at an inch before the end. And then I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna repeat that process on all four sides. And what's gonna happen is I'm going to be left with a one inch frame and then I'm gonna have this paper from the center that would have been covered up by my background paper anyways. And I can use this for photo mats or for journaling mats or whatever else I want to use it for. And it kind of lightens the load on my layout a little bit. It takes away a little bit of those, of that heavy bulk. And so now I'm taking my background paper and I'm gonna trim this down to 11 and a half on two sides. So I'm just trimming a half an inch off of two sides. So everybody been having a good week so far? I had yesterday off, so that was nice to have a long, a long weekend for Patriots Day. And it was cold and rainy, so I honestly didn't do much of anything, um, which is fine. You're allowed to have those kinds of do-nothing days. I did some laundry, did some cleaning up around the house, did a little bit of organizing in the craft room, and that's about it. Okay, so I just put adhesive around the edges of my pattern paper, and now I'm going to lay that down here, trying to center it the best I can. 
So now I have my background. And now I'm going to trim my photos and get those matted. And I don't always mat all of my photos, but I really like this teal. And so I'm definitely going to use that. Um, it, it has been quite cold. I don't know how you're feeling, where you are, but I am freezing. And I came home and I turned the heat back on because I was so cold and the house was really chilly and it's quite a stark difference from 80 something degrees last Friday. Um, it was chilly in my house tonight when I got home. So I just turned the heat on a little bit just to take the chill off. Okay, so I have two photos here and then I have these two here. So I think I'll do these two here. And I'm going to mat, I'm gonna do two little clusters of photos because I have four all together. So I'm gonna do two clusters on the top left and then two on the bottom right. And I'm gonna overlap these a tiny bit. I can't even tell you where exactly this little vista was that we stopped at for pictures, but it was really pretty. And the homeowners knew that they had a beautiful spot and they let people take pictures and they had it all set up as a nice spot so you could take photos. So that was really kind of them to have that set up there. And you know, if you're a scrapper, you see those opportunities. You've gotta grab those photos. So I'm just trimming my little mats here. A little bit crooked, that's all right. Um, this one I'm gonna trim down a little bit more. That's better. Okay. And I pulled out a big sheet of foam adhesive because I want to be able to um, pop this whole photo cluster up. And so rather than using a ton of my foam squares, I'm just gonna use a sheet of craft foam. Um, I will be using regular foam squares for something else on this layout, but for this instance, I'm just gonna use a big piece of craft foam. That'd be a lot of squares. So I'm gonna put these two up here. Maybe, at, yeah, I think at a little angle. And I just put liquid adhesive on the back of that. I find that's the easiest way to stick that foam adhesive down and it sticks really well. I buy the sheets that are adhesive on one side, but then you have to add adhesive to the other side. Popping that other one up. And then I'll put this one down here at a little bit of an angle as well. Just a slight angle. Okay, now I pulled out these cards because I want to add a bit of pattern to the background behind these photo mats. And I wanted to use this card as my title. So I'm gonna trim this one first. It says loving right now. So I'm gonna trim that, trim it a little bit more. See if that's enough. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna stick that right behind there. Because that's where I'm going to put my title. But now these I want to 
put behind my photos. I love this plaid, I think that's so pretty. So I'm gonna tuck that one back there. Just snip that. These are the variety mats that came with Tropic Time. And I love to use these as extra patterns on my layouts because they come in completely different patterns than what the paper packs come with. So it gives you like a whole other variety of um, different designs. And sometimes you have titles you can use, you have journaling, there's all kinds of different things. And I just really like that extra, the extra patterns. So I think I'll just do two more of that same plaid down here. And I'm tearing it towards me so I see that white core and it's just adding another texture. And because I have these popped up on foam, that's giving me this space to tuck these behind, which I really love to do. So I'm gonna tear that piece. And tuck that right back there. Okay, now what I want to do is use the barn and fence. So I'm gonna set this aside and open this up. I haven't even used it yet. If you're in my border maker club and you haven't picked yours up yet, I have one for you. I'm gonna pop this right in the holder. And I'm gonna start with the brown. I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna punch two borders. One in brown and one in red. And maybe you already have an idea of what I'm going to use it for. Maybe you already have an idea of why I'm doing one in brown, one in red. So if you do, make a guess. So there's the brown. So this border maker is a topper. So you could leave it just like this on your paper and then layer it over something else and it's just creating that border right on the, on the edge of your paper. I'm gonna do the same thing. Now I'm using the red. And whenever you have a border maker that has a lot of little pieces, just make sure that you're emptying out all those little punched pieces that come out because that's what's gonna jam up in your cartridge. And you don't want that to happen. All right, I'm gonna clear all this clutter out of here if I can. That's better. Now I'm gonna trim both of my barns. So I've got these two borders. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other because um, the trimmer will cut through both of these pieces. So I'm just gonna trim these about a quarter of an inch below below the edge so I'm pull my layout back over see how this looks That looks cute, I like that. I'm gonna put two. Well, my idea was to put them across the photos, but I don't think I really love that. So I think I'm gonna put it right across the center because it's actually bigger than I expected it was. 
So now what I'm going to do is I am going to trim each of the barns. So I'm just going to use my micro trip scissors and I am going to trim the fence away from the punch. And I'm going to take my precision point adhesive. This is just a nice adhesive pen and I'm just going to run a little bit of the adhesive along the barn because it's really detailed. So now I'm going to do that to each barn. I'm going to trim the fence pieces. And you could do this with lots of different punches just to combine colors. I just wanted the barn to stand out and in New England barns are traditionally red and the photo of the barn in this layout is red as well so I just wanted to have that pop of red. Okay so I've got all my little barns. I'm gonna add my adhesive try doing it this way. Those are so cute. This would be really fun if you were taking kids to a petting zoo or you're doing a layout about your backyard chickens or life on the farm. So many different things you could use this for. I honestly wasn't sure I had any photos. I thought I was gonna have to kind of dig into the days of when my kids were little and petting zoos and things because I didn't think I had any more of those kinds of photos. And then lo and behold, I had ones from the fall. <laughs> oh, thanks, hi Michelle. Yeah, I really like how this kind of makes that barn stand out a little bit. It's kind of kind of cute. And then you could obviously mix and match this to go with your layout, however you would like it to. So now I'm gonna turn this around. And now I'm gonna use my little foam squares. And I'm just gonna put one on the back of each barn. And that's gonna be enough to make this stand out. Just gotta pull all the little adhesive tabs off and flip that around. Oh, that's adorable. All right, now I'm going to grab my stickers. And I'm going to spell out day trip. And these are the stickers that came with the Tropic Time collection. Um, but there's a lot of green in these photos, so I think it goes really well. Let's see if I can spell out day trippers because I've had the Beatles song in my head all day because of this layout. So if I can fit that word, I'm going to. I think I'll leave it like that and then I'll write to Guilford underneath there. Let me do that right now. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to look up how to spell Guilford because I don't remember it. I don't want to spell it wrong, but it's gonna go right there. <laughs> we'll look it up afterwards. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do my journaling there. And I pulled out this card that I think will be my journaling, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Oops. I'm gonna tuck that right underneath there. And that will be where my journaling goes. So I can add my date and I can add some info about our day trip. Yeah, they do, Michelle. Every time I think I don't need another border punch and then something comes out. And this is a prime example. When this one came out, I said, I don't need a barn and fence. I don't live on a farm. My kids aren't little. And then I was like, well, okay, I'll get it. And it is stinking adorable. Now, if you didn't want the barn, you could easily cut the barns away like I did and then just combine the fences if you just wanted the fence. Or you can just cut the barns and use them as an extra embellishment. It's just so cute. And I really like punching it out in red how it kind of highlights the barn too. I think that's cute. Um, and there's my little barn right there that I took the picture of. So yeah, I'm gonna add the journaling here. And then that's really it because I feel like this layout has a lot going on. It's pretty busy already. So I don't think I need to add anything else. Um, and you could easily transfer this and make it into a two page layout just by spreading things out a little bit. Have two sets of um, borders going all the way across or you could have one up at the top and one at the bottom on the other side, but definitely an easy technique to try out on a two page layout as well. So thank you guys, thank you guys so much for joining me. It was nice to chat with all of you and spend some time with you in the virtual craft room. And I will be back again here soon. Good night, everybody.